Y'all were freaking me out in the comments, but here's proof that I actually listened to you. Now, over the last couple of videos, I've been upgrading my Bamboo Lab A1 setup to be one, enclosed, two, have an air purifier system for filtering out any nasties, overkill for BLA, most definitely, but it's nice to have that peace of mind, and three, to accommodate a top-mounted AMS light setup and to be completely contained underneath this work area. And with each and every update and video that I put out, I'm getting more and more comments, helpful comments, about the A1's passive cooling system, and the likelihood is that I'm slowly cooking my little robot assistant to death. Now, I have done a little bit of digging, and although Bamboo Lab does state that the optimal operating temperature is up to 30 degrees Celsius for the A1, which I haven't really been tipping over. Okay, maybe I've dipped a toe into like 32 degrees once, arrest me. I guess what I was failing to take into account is that with no fresh air coming into the case, the passive cooling system isn't really going to be all that effective. So winding back the built patented double suck method, which is the air purifier sucking air from the case and the USB fan pushing air from the case, which I guess now that I think about it is not double suck, it's kind of suck and blow. Anyway, I wanted to see if the purifier has enough sucking force to create positive pressure in the case without the fan. There we go, a little bit of proof for the non-believers. Now it's time to find some sort of funnel tunnel situation to get air from outside the case into the passive cooling areas in a directed way so as to not just be blowing over the print bed and ruining the work area and my prints. So then, of course, I jumped onto Maker World to see what else had been created in this space. I assumed other people had done this. There was a few decent designs on there, but I thought this is built after all, so why not have a crack at designing something myself? And my God, look at this absolute monstrosity that I've made. Ugly as sin, yes. Effective as sin, also yes. Don't worry, it mostly looks like trash because of the design and also because I opted for ultra draft quality. This doesn't need to look pretty or be strong. It just needs to sit in the right place and the magnets and the placement of the actual A1 do most of the heavy lifting in that regard. So let me walk you through it. So on the front sides and bottom of the A1, there are these little intake vents. I don't know exactly what electronics are kicking around in here, but my assumption is the motherboard is somewhere down here. So my thought process was to direct airflow from the outside of the case to the inside of the case and then get it hitting this vent on the left hand side of the printer. That'll kick air into the A1 base housing. And then you have a little air redirect underneath that will push air underneath the whole device and it will suck its way through out into that air purifier tent from the former double suck method. So in theory, we now have fresh external air being channeled underneath the A1 and not across the print bed. So a couple of things about this design. As I was making this one, I was absolutely banging my head against the metaphorical desk trying to get the loft feature working in on shape. I could loft two shapes together, but I could not get the extrude angle to work or I couldn't get it to extrude on an angle. I know it's possible, but it has me stumped. And since then I thought I'd worked it out, but this is not the case. I'm still a Drongo, I still don't know what I'm doing. So this is what we're working with. We've got this kind of step design. I also wanted to reuse some of my previous design from the air purifier as I'm going to be repurposing the same fan and I've already made the adapter for that. So I just printed off another one with a slightly shorter pipe to match the randomly chosen blue that I did for the uh, air shroud thing. And that was about it. Then all that was left to do was cut a couple of careful but crude holes in the tent mount the shroud and the fan adapter on either side of said hole, insert the fan, and then tuck everything back underneath the bench. Bob's your uncle. Remember when I said the printer wasn't going to become the hobby? Well, I think maybe it's about time I get into some creative projects. What do you reckon? And stop noodling around with setting up the printer. Maybe. Oh, and if you're still here, one thing I'll address from the last video where I top mounted the AMS light, I said that I could get away with not putting anything behind the A1 to stabilize any reverse motions, uh, but that's not the case. I've ended up going with a couple of these rubber door stops. It's not the prettiest solution, but neither is most of the things I design on this channel, but you know what? It works.